Whether it's July 4th, Canada Day, or whatever summer holiday you happen to be celebrating, it's always a good time to cook up some ribs. So today, I'm going to be making some baby back ribs with a sriracha barbecue sauce. Let's get started. I'll start by peeling the membrane off the back of my ribs. Now I happen to have a little piece exposed, but if you don't, you can always use a knife and just pry a corner away. It'll generally come off in one giant piece. I'll start by putting together a quick dry rub for our ribs using a bunch of basic spices. I'll give you a link to the full recipe down below. But really, something as simple as salt, some pepper, and some chili powder would work just fine as well. I'll just apply the rub liberally to both sides of our ribs. Now that's done, I'll fold up my giant piece of tin foil, sealing it up tight, making sure the curved side, the side that had the membrane on, is facing up. Now I'll pop it into a preheated 300 degree oven for two hours. While my ribs are cooking, I'm gonna to put together my sriracha barbecue sauce. Now you can prepare this the day of, the day before, whatever. I'm gonna keep it in the fridge for other stuff anyways. Or if you prefer, you can just use store-bought barbecue sauce. That works fine too. For my sauce, I'm gonna be using half a cup of Guinness, one cup of ketchup, a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar, a quarter cup of dark soy sauce, half a cup of sriracha, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, two tablespoons of maple syrup, the juice of half a lime, and one tablespoon each of ground mustard seed, smoked paprika, and garlic powder. I'll just whisk this all together, cover it, and let it simmer for about 10 minutes. Once that's done, I'll take it off the heat, remove the lid, and let it cool before decanting it into an airtight container ready for the fridge. So back to our ribs. Two hours have passed, so these should be ready for some barbecue sauce. Now, we have a bunch of liquid here, so what I want to do is remove the foil. Oh boy, that just happened. So I've conveniently broken these into two smaller pieces and put them on a clean piece of foil. Now we'll just apply some barbecue sauce to both sides of the ribs and put them back in the oven, this time at 350 for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, you can see we're starting to get a nice barbecue crust there. I'll just recoat the top of the ribs one more time then throw them back in the oven for a final five minutes. And that's it. These are amazing fall off the bone oven baked ribs with a sriracha barbecue sauce. For the full recipe, visit thehungrybachelor.com and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos coming soon.